Listening to the BBC World Service, this is The World Today, and if you've just tuned in, our top story this hour, voters in the West African state of Ghana are choosing a new president. These elections are crucial for the people of Ghana. This election is vital to the future of Africa as a whole. for Africans to prove to the world that if given the chance, they can prove that they are capable of managing their own affairs. Do we want to go forward or do we want to go back? Do we want to move forward with lies? No. Ladies and gentlemen, December 7th, protect your ballot boxes the way you will protect and defend your mother. Democracy should be about how to generate the wealth of society and how to distribute that wealth equitably. Growth is improving, social services are improving, the wealth of the country is increasing. One of the big issues in this election is the distribution of that wealth that is being created. A democracy is only as strong or as weak as the participants in the process choose to make it. It is rare to find in an African country after an election somebody not alleging that they have been cheated. My friend, we are not accepting the voter results. If you don't know what you are doing, it will endanger the whole country. Where are those figures coming from? My brother, if you have any other question, let's go ahead. If you don't have anything, where are those figures coming from? Madam, this is struggle for power. And people don't simply let power go. Please, 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 please. Freedom can sometimes come at a cost. Justice will come at a cost. Anytime there's a new regime, a conscious effort is made to smash members and supporters of the old regime. If we don't stop this cycle of vengeance, we will destroy our country and destroy it to the ashes. <laughs> are in the hands of God. Right. We are likely to have a situation where the military, quote unquote, may take over the situation. A peaceful transition will be an example to the rest of Africa.